Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is coming out later this year, and it will feature a new version, a new variation of the Stormtrooper design with this new First Order Sith Trooper. That's what it's called, a Sith Trooper. And uh, that's pretty crazy, honestly, that they're uh, bringing in a Sith Trooper considering the fact that they've said constantly throughout this trilogy that Kylo Ren and Snoke are not Sith. The Emperor is back in Episode Nine. And this obviously alludes to his army or something. I mean, all this really does is make you ask more questions, honestly. Who trained these guys? Do they work for Palpatine? Where did they come from? Is the Sith, are the Sith truly coming back? What's up with that symbol? That's right by their name. If you look at the bat pack here, let's look at the... They, they, by the way, when they announced this thing, the first thing they announced it for was merchandising stuff, which I think is funny as hell. But if you look at the bat pack, on the top of it, the little flap that it's got... You can see the symbol that it has, and it has that symbol all throughout, even with the name Sith Trooper right by it on this image, it has that symbol. I don't know what that symbol means, I don't know if that's something for the Sith, if that's part of the Sith Order, or maybe some of the ancient Sith, I don't know if that's something that Palpatine is uh, putting around the world or something, I really don't know. But there's a lot of questions that we now have from this announcement that we're getting Sith Troopers in the new movie. How did the First Order get this and why did Kylo Ren and Snoke supposedly say they're not Sith I mean they, they've talked about that a lot in the new trilogy about how Kylo Ren and Snoke are not Sith Lords they're not part of the Sith Empire or Sith Order or anything like that and Palpatine was the last Sith so the fact that this is a Sith Trooper and Palpatine's back it's like alright well obviously he's involved some way with the mass production of these guys what's really interesting is this also confirms that leak that came out many months ago. You remember that poster leak that happened? It was a uh, it was a promotional poster. That's what most people were saying. But a lot of people, including myself, were cautious of this poster and thought it was fake. And not only because of C-3PO with the uh, bowcaster in his arm, but also the, the red stormtroopers at the bottom. A lot of people saw that as a red flag, <laughs> no pun intended. But we really saw that and we're like, eh, that doesn't, no, that... What's that? We don't know what that is. Well, turns out that promotional poster is right. I mean, those are Sith Troopers at the bottom. And it's weird to wonder what they're going to do in this movie. Because right above them is the First Order Troopers. So it's clearly something different that we're going to have to look forward to. And it's going to be a major thing. And this was back in March, mind you. So, a lot of things have changed over the past few months. I don't think uh, a lot of fans are going to be happy with this yet. I think they're going to have to see how these... Sith Troopers do in the movies. I can tell you right now, the people who don't like The Last Jedi and who don't like the sequels are already going to come out and say this is an unoriginal and bad design. And the people who do like the new movies and whatnot are going to come out and tell you this is an amazing design. It's one of the best they've ever seen. It couldn't get any better from this. But it's kind of funny that Mark Hamill denied that this was a real poster. But the, the big red flags for this was the bottom thing in C-3PO with the bowcaster. And now... Well, we've confirmed almost everything in this poster except C-3PO with that bowcaster. C-3PO might be taking out some Sith Troopers himself, and that'll be a sight to see, and I hope that does happen. But tell me your thoughts. I'm personally excited about Sith Troopers. I like the idea of the Sith coming back in Episode Nine. I think it's a little late, but overall, I'm cool with it. And hopefully, hopefully, they pull it off well. The design, in my opinion, is cool. I can understand why people would be disappointed with it, but I like it. But just tell me your thoughts. What do you guys think about the Sith Trooper design? And are you excited to see it in Star Wars Episode Nine? Also, I made a Discord server. I was trying to find a way to better engage with viewers and subscribers of the channel. And I think this is one of the best ways to do it. A lot of people have been asking for it. And so I finally made one. We hit over 100 members within the first 24 hours. And I think it's a really good number to hit. I'm really proud of that. I love the response so far. We try to keep things as civil as possible. We debate the films. but We don't argue about things. There's no trolling. There's no spamming. There's nothing like that. It's not like the, the common internet chats. It's not like a YouTube comment section. It's not toxic like that. We keep everything nice. I am going to bring in moderators as time goes on. As people go up through the ranks and roles and whatnot, I'll pick up some moderators so they can run it while I'm not there. I'll also announce channel updates and talk to you guys as often as I can. I'm going to try to be on there almost every day. But if not, you have plenty of other Star Wars only fans and subscribers on that to talk to as well. Over 100 at the moment. So please join. I hope you guys like that. hope you guys enjoy this video. I can't wait to talk to you guys on the Discord server. And I can't wait for you guys to see my next video. I'm Star Wars only. I'll see you all next time. And may the Force be with you always.